Hey guys, back with another video. This time it's what I learned from the fall skirmish week two. So let's hop right into it. Temporarily, explode would pretty much take him out. Or anyone with a whole lot of ammo and a whole lot of time to kill. And now Sen Animal is here in an engagement. Right, so that was Animal fighting blind, and I think what what happens here that's interesting is Animal's going for the pyramid replace and then the floor replace. But what happens is blind actually reacts in a really nice way. He just edits the floor as soon as Animal begins to edit the pyramid. So. Replacing the pyramid, editing, and then pop. Dead. Uh, that didn't happen that way in the clip, but you can see the potential there for a very quick surprise attack. All right, so let's do that from Blind's perspective. If we just wait for the guy to uh, replace the pyramid, you can start replacing, and then you hold the edit ready. Wait for him to put the pyramid down and edit, and then confirm, boom. Easy kill, easy clap. Is Rio gonna be able to pop him in? He's gonna try. He's gonna try. Nope, change his mind. Dude, I would just do it. Yeah, just do it. Commit. Yeah. Confirm. He's got the high ground. Look, this he's, isn't pushing. Why isn't he pushing? I'm surprised. I'm not. So that's the thing is he saw the whites, right? He definitely tagged him for white health. Oh, there oh. you go. Okay. S Sen must have been. He committed. Right, so in that situation, you saw Ace was fighting the guy up top, and the guy up top wanted to heal, and he was already healing, and then Ace decided to start. To, to fake push, he actually puts a stair out here and then does this. Um, and the guy up top stops healing and then Ace waits a little longer to try to get him to feel more comfortable, go for the heal again. And Ace continues to wait after the fake. And then as soon as he's like, as soon as the guy up top is committed, that's when Ace pushes and gets the kill really easily because the guy is trying to commit to the mech kit and he's like, I gotta get this off, I gotta get this off, and then Ace finally gets the kill. So that's a really easy way to put, fake push somebody when you're thinking they're healing. Uh, really situational, obviously you gotta be, be aware of what's going on and really aware of what the other player is doing. But I thought that was awesome, so we good stuff by Ace. Not that far, uh, just here east of him. My goodness. And now look, the storm is starting to close. So look at all the players that were outside at the top north of that circle. They all have to move. We're gonna start funneling players together. This lobby's, lobby is about to get cut in half. All right, so like in one of my last videos, the PAX West games, uh, we saw Tfue was able to do a cool thing where he places through the wall. So what he did was he put, he did this, built through, and then kind of built the two walls all around. Um, and he shows a kind of uh, evolution of this where he actually rotates his stairs and uses this to push his turtle out. So before he just used it for extra protection, now he actually places the floor, rotates his stairs that way, so it's facing uh, right to left, places that through, places two walls, and then he continues out. Does this exact same thing, continues, boom, and then he continues out. And we'll do it one more time. Okay. You can't place a wall on the right when you're placing through. So he does this, rotates the stairs in the perfect way, and he can extend his turtle really, really safely, and he uses this to go down into the storm, pushing farther towards the center of the circle, which is really useful because you never know where which side the, the moving zone is gonna come on. So you just go as soon as you go it as far as possible into the center to give yourself the better chance the most chance to be close to the storm. So I thought this was really cool and a really nice evolution. You can see Tifu is really thinking about how to apply these new strategies and how to apply them and bring them to the next level. Because the the previous thing wasn't that useful, right? I mean, you're adding extra protection, but it really it wasn't really that useful. Now this is a really useful way to extend your 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 turtle. Very very he's safe. Gonna, he's going for the heal six off. Six people left. How are there six people left? Sen, Nox, and Free Agent what is were all doing? lost in the storm. We vote going for elimination. Is, is Tifu actually going to win this with bandages? He all right, so in that clip, I wanted to highlight Dwyfo's patience in these endgame situations. At the beginning of the clip, there were seven, seven, maybe eight people up, including Dwyfo, and three of them died in the storm. So Dwyfo is very, very patient here. He doesn't have any heals. He can't really partake in the heal off. He has Tfue all the way up at the top with band-aids. He has Kuros directly under him. Uh, I'm not sure what Kuros has. And then at the very bottom, Zuf has a med kit. And so the idea is that he needs to last as long as possible to basically extend his life as much as possible. So what he does is he stays in the very center of the storm, and you'll see some other players don't do that, maybe they're fighting or something like that, but they die to the storm. Dwyfo doesn't, he doesn't take any damage, he waits for the very last second, um, and then he knows he has only five seconds to make a play. So as soon as he, as soon as the storm overtakes him, he starts pushing. So let's roll the clip. Basically this ends up that he waits long enough that even Zoof dies before him, and just by a slight second. So let's roll it. 
There it is. He's waiting very at the very last second to go into the storm. The storm is finally going now. So boom, there he goes. He executes. You see Zoof at the bottom. He kills Kuros. And now Zoof is dead. And now Thwaifo is dead. And he gets the second place there. Perfect play by Thwaifo, netting him an extra point. And yeah, that's the Trampling importance of patience. Left and right. So many players we've seen with no shields, no health. Sitting underneath 100. Heart though, man. Look at those mats. 434. I mean, look. It's good. Until All right, so that was hard, and that was a way to get some extra coverage when you're in a two by one or even a one by one by using pyramids instead of stairs. So when you're in a two by one, normally you're covered on all sides by only one wall, and you can alleviate this by placing stairs, something like this, right? And now you're covered by two on this side, but still by only one on this corner and this corner, and then obviously this side. And if you use pyramids instead of the stairs and then edit the corners that you want. Boom, boom. So now you're covered by two on both that wall and that wall. And this side is always gonna be vulnerable, but this, unless you go maybe under your pyramid, then you can cover by two on that wall as well. But now, say the storm is on that side, or you know there's nobody rotating that side, but you know there's a bunch of people over there and you wanna get that extra coverage against protection for clingers or heavy sniper spam or anything like that, this is a way to do it. So a really cool thing that Heart showed. You've got a mountain for protection. You've got all almost all of Pleasant Park. You've got another mountain. Two people. All right, so that was Lastius, and he uh, actually shows a use for that, or for an extra pyramid peak. And I think people have been experimenting with this, but this is the first time I've seen it in a skirmish, where you actually, when you're at the top of something, you have a wall that can connect. You actually pre-edit your pyramid, and then you can actually, once you pre-edit that, you can place it down below, and then you can put walls behind you here, and you, and then you can edit peak like this, so you can be on the side of something, and you can get really, really, really nice vision, much more than the normal. Uh, let me re-edit this. Much more than this normal thing where you can only see kind of half of the screen, but here you can you can see everything. And if you need to, you can put a floor below, somebody starts shooting you. I think this is really cool. And yeah. But sometimes, sometimes it's just a little bit too much. I just can't believe. Replay starting around with four HP. I it, think even replay was like, uh... uh uh, G -G -G? All right, so that was Snood, and what I wanted to show you there was how he pushed up to the top of his ramp, and then he put out extra floors. Um, and what this does is basically makes it so that you have multiple places to peek from, so you can actually move your box over here, and now you can peek from here and over here. And at the same time, if somebody starts spamming you, you either are just going to hold down and waste your mats, or you're going to extend your your box just a little bit and now they don't know exactly where you are and they're gonna probably stop spamming but also allows you to just be a little bit more mobile so that's the reason why he puts all these floors down is that he has more space to work with once he gets up top all right that's a wrap i really enjoyed this week it was a lot of fun uh cheering for my boys thwaifo snood all the ghost guys just got picked up and did really well and good job to tfue as well for winning that week um, and yeah, just some, a lot of things to learn every week. I'm looking forward to the next week's. If you like that video, subscribe and like on YouTube. Follow me on Twitch and do all the rest of the things on social media. And I'll be back with more content just like this. Peace.